Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a hover text above your object based on distance. So when you reach out your object, in my case it's a zombie, you have this text runner zombie and it is rotating by the camera of your character. So let's get started and let me show you how you can create this label above your objects. If you watched my previous video, you already know that my channel is demonetized. So I've decided to switch to Patreon. Becoming a Patreon member, you support me and this channel to keep evolving, to keep creating more and more interesting videos. Besides that, you have access to all the files that I've created from the start of my YouTube channel. So right now you can download the water shader, you can download the auto material from my previous video. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it. And you can have access to more in-depth videos about how the things work, like the auto material, the water shader, and a few more videos. And also you have access to a VIP Discord server only dedicated to my Patreon members, where I am active most of the time. So if you want to support the growth of this channel and if you want to see more and more videos like this, go to my Patreon page, enroll now and also you will have access to everything that I'm creating. Thanks everyone. The first thing that you need to create is you need to create a blueprint of your object. I'm going to right click BP class, I'm going to select actor and I'm going to create one more zombie which will be BP male zombie. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to add a skeletal mesh and I already have a skeletal mesh of male zombie. I'm going to select it. The next step is to add the text itself, the naming of the zombie. So I'm going to hit add and I'm going to search for text. I'm going to select the text renderer and I'm going to put here male zombie name. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to match my zombie and I'm going to put it above his head, something like this. Right now it is not centered. So what you need to do is from a horizontal alignment to select center and move it appropriately onto your zombie. So once when you're satisfied with the text position, so I'm going to put for the text zombie name. This will be the default name of the zombie. I'm going to scale it a little bit down and we have our text setup. The next step is to create a variable to feed the text name. So I'm going to hit plus and I'm going to name this zombie name text. Okay. So this should be a text variable. I'm going to compile and save and I'm going to give for the zombie name text just a name for the zombie. So it will be Mike the zombie. I'm going to compile and save again. And right now I'm going to feed this variable to this text through a construction script. So click on the construction script, drag from here and search for set text. And here the set text male zombie name. And right now what we are doing is we are setting this text to a variable. And the variable that you need is drag and drop the variable that we've just created. And this will set the text in real time. So when we go to the viewport, you see we have Mike the zombie. And if I change this to Joe the zombie, it will automatically change the text. So we are done with this. We are ready with the name. You need also to set instance editable exposed to spawn if you want to have this set up outside not here in the blueprints then we go to the event graph and in the event graph i'm going to delete everything we are going to start creating the logic the first thing that we need is the distance in which we are going to show the text so i'm going to get the player character get player character after we get the player character we're going to search for this actor location so get actor location and we're going to subtract from the player character and our zombie character right now that we have and we're going to create a vector which will be the length between those two so in order to get your zombie you need to right click get actor location and it should be self so we are getting the location of the zombie and we are getting the location of our main character and the first thing is we need to subtract so we're going to subtract from the main character to the zombie and this will be creating a vector length so choose a vector length and we have right now the length between those two and then we're going to compare i'm going to choose a less and this will be the distance that you want the text to appear so i'm going to promote a variable right click promote a variable and i'm going to name this distance to show text so this will be the distance that we want the text to appear. So I'm going to put something like 200, 250. Selects for distance to show 
instance editable, exposed to spawn, compile and save. And the next thing is to create a branch. I'm going to create a branch so that we know if it's true, if the distance is bigger or less, we're going to do different actions. And everything here should be on event stick. So I'm going to search for event stick, hook it up to the branch. And if the distance is bigger, we are not going to show the text. So I'm going to select the zombie name. I'm going to right click and I'm going to set the visibility of the male zombie name to false. If the distance is not meeting our requirements over here, it will not show the text. All right. So if you're far away, if you're further than 250, it will not show the text. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to say if it's closer to 250, I'm going to set visibility to true. All right. So far, so good. And the next step is we need to rotate the text based on the character camera. So what we need to do is we need to select the male zombie name, right click, and we need to set the world rotation, set world rotation, just for this object, set world rotation, male zombie name. And we are setting the rotation of the text based on our main character, connect the visibility to set world rotation, and let's make the rotation possible. Okay. Right now, as we are orbiting through our character, we will need to rotate only by the Z axis. So I'm going to right click, split the structure pane, and I'm going to search for a node which is find look at rotation. So I'm going to right click, find look at rotation. So this will start looking at specific object. We're going to define a start position and a target position. And I'm going to split the structure over here and connect the Z axis over here to the set world rotation. And for the target, our target is our zombie. So I'm going to right click, get actor location. We're getting the location of our zombie. And for the target, we are getting again from here, our actor location, the character, right? This is our main character. And I'm going to hook it up over here compile and save and right now we have everything set up and it should work and the final thing go to the male zombie name search for visibility and by default it should be disabled compile save and let's test this out so here i have the runner zombie the distance is 300 when you exit the 300 distance the text disappear and here our joda zombie the distance is 250 when i exit it disappears all right so this is how you can create your text and it is rotating how it should be so thank you guys for watching this one i hope this helps you out in order to label your items objects or npcs thank you guys for watching see you in the next video and before i end up this video i want to let you know that i've created a blueprints master class for unreal engine 5 it is available right now on udemy so if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge, you're supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. Happy game development. I'm out.